Hi. Now, in this question, it's all about the binomial expansion. What we've got to do is find the first four terms then of the binomial expansion in ascending powers of x of 1 plus x over 4 all to the power 8, giving each term in its simplest form. And then we've got to go on to use the expansion to estimate the value of 1.025 to the power 8, giving our answers to four decimal places. So if this is something you'd like to try and you haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video and have a go. Don't forget there's video tutorials on my website examsolutions.net on the binomial expansion. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So uh, how do we do something like this? Well, as I say, you should be familiar with the binomial expansion. It's essentially this formula, a plus b to the power n, that we use when n is a positive integer. It's identical to nc0, a to the power n, b to the power 0, plus nc1, a to the power n minus 1, b to the power 1, and so on. So in this example, when we take our expansion, let's just write it down here first of all though, we've got 1 plus x over 4 to the power 8. When we take this expansion, a is the 1, b is x over 4, and the power n, which is a positive integer, is 8. So using this, we're going to have nc0, so it'll be 8c0, and then we've got a to the power n, so that'd be 1 to the power 8. Now I know that's 1, but uh, I just want to put this in just to demonstrate the pattern. And then we've got b to the power 0, that's x over 4, all to the power 0. So that's our first term. Next term is 8c1, and then we drop the power on the 1 by 1, so that's 1 to the power 7, and we increase the power by 1 on the b term. So it's x to the power 4 now to the power 1. Notice how these powers always add up to 8, the power here. The next term is 8c2, okay, and then we've got 1 to the power 6, and then x over 4 to the power 2. That's three terms done. Now we come on to the last term, which is going to be 8c3, 1 to the power 5, and then x over 4, all to the power 3. And even though we've written down the first four terms, the expansion will carry on, so try and put plus and so on. Now when we clean this up, 8c0 is 1. You've got 1 to the power 8, which is 1, and anything to the power 0 is 1. So the first term is 1. Next up, you've got 8c1. If you do that on your calculator, nc1 is always n, so 8c1 is going to be 8. 8 multiplied by simply x over 4. As for the next term, 8 C2, if you work that out, what you get is 28. So it's going to be 28 multiplied by x squared over 16. Alright. Next term, the fourth term, 8c3, turns out to be 56. So you've got 56 multiplied by x over 4 all cubed, which is going to be x cubed over 64 and plus and so on. Cleaning this up, we end up with 1 plus and 4 will go into 8 twice, so you've got 2x there. 28 and 16, 4's go into top and bottom here, giving you 7x squared over 4. And lastly, 8 goes into both 56 and 64, and that's going to reduce down to 7x cubed over 8. And then you've got plus and so on. Okay, so there's our first four terms then in the binomial expansion. Next, 
we've got to use our expansion then to estimate the value of 1.025 all to the power 8. So when I compare this to what we have here, we can see that both are to the power 8. So I've got to figure out what x would be to make the bit inside the bracket come to 1.025. So that's our starting point. We can just say 1 plus x over 4 must equal 1.025. And if I subtract 1 from both sides, I can see that therefore we're left with x over 4 equals just simply 0.025. And to get x, all I need to do now is just multiply. Let's just say it follows that. I just need to multiply both sides by 4. So that gives me x equals 0.1. You tend to get this kind of value in these questions, things like 0 0.1, 0 0.001, 0 0.0001, 0 0.001, and so on. Okay, so generally be prepared for some answer like that. And so, what does that mean? Well, essentially, then, all we've got to do is just substitute this value of x into here. So we've got, therefore, 1.025 to the power 8 is going to be approximately okay equal to well we've got 1 plus and then 2 times 0 0.1 then we've got plus 7 over 4 multiplied by 0 0.1 all squared and then plus 7 over 8 multiplied by 0 0.1 all cubed and if you put this through your calculator, what you should find that you get is 1.218375. And we're asked to give this to four decimal places. So what we've got here is that this comes to 1.218424 decimal places, 4DP for short. All right.